Okay, so now that we've understood the idea of the super rational and how that has a connection to the fitra or perhaps how that's a bridge to our understanding of the fitra, let's dig deeper to what we mean by the fitra. And we'll start off with a simple working definition. One of the challenges when it comes to a concept like the fitra is that there is a lot to unpack and sometimes it can be very complicated just because there's so much to unpack related to the concept of fitra. So a simple working definition for our purposes is that the fitra is the original normative disposition of the human being. So we'll take each one of these terms and we'll see why the fitra um, has that as part of our working definition. So let's start off with the first one, the idea of original, the original normative disposition. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the names of Allah is Fatir. Now, the term fitra comes from the triliteral root. So in Arabic, words have triliteral roots. Most words, some have four, uh, but generally it's three. So it comes from the three letters Fatara. Now, one of the names of Allah is Fatir. So Allah says, uh, is there any doubt concerning Allah? that he is the originator of the heavens and the earth. So we find this connection of origination. The term fitra or fatara comes from the idea of splitting or cracking. And from there you get the idea of origination, the splitting, cracking, and being original, being on, on something that's coming from a starting point. In fact, when we look at some of the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu this concept of the origination or the original state or the original nature of the human being is highlighted. For instance, in one hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi is has, has gone uh, to paradise or he's gone up to his journey, his night journey, and Jibreel Alayhi Salaam presents him with milk and honey and asks him, asks the Prophet Sallallahu to make a choice. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi chooses milk and the and Jibreel alayhi salam says you have chosen that which is the fitra in other words you have chosen that which is natural which is the fitra and your ummah will be upon guidance in other words you made the right choice but the term that's used in the hadith is the fitra you've chosen the fitra so the scholars asked why is it that milk is considered the fitra well number one milk has a, a the idea of being nourishing and so it nourishes the human being as opposed to wine. So milk is like the natural base state. It's something natural, wholesome, and good for you. Whereas wine has negative effects. You can enter into a state of drunkenness. You, you move away from your natural state into a state where you, you know, you're clumsy, you're funny, you're just you know, obnoxious and all these things, which is away from the natural state. But more importantly, the other connection that the scholars make, some scholars make between the milk and the fitra, is that the milk is the first thing that naturally goes into the stomach of the, of the baby, right? So it's the first, the origination, the first thing. And so hence the milk, that's the first thing to enter the, 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 the baby's stomach. So it's, the concept is that it enters the stomach and it op opens the stomach. So that concept of opening, cleaving asunder and so on and so forth, it opens the stomach. And so it's the original, coming back to our term, the fitra, it's the original state or the original normative disposition because it's the original state in which the human being is born.